from turn four. Okay, he'll be coming into the picture here very shortly. There he is by himself. And all at once, the car just slides up into the wall. Ned, that looked like a tire was yeah. cut down. He never turned the wheel. When he started off the corner, it went directly up. The right front corner would not work. Watch this. You hear him out? He does hit that wall hard. Oh, what a tough break for the three-time champion. Yes, it was. Big hit. Those yeah. right side impacts like that rattle you. Yeah, when it goes straight like that, that's definitely a right front, right front issue. Hello, guys. Me, Carl This is Cap Carl Neff, and I'm gonna analyze Kyle Larson's Texas wreck from last night during the All Star race. So, as you can see. What popped in my head, it looked really similar to Jeff Gordon's Texas wreck back in 1999. And coincidentally, both Gordon and Larson were running second to re their respective, you know, competitors. Mark Martin in 99 and then Kyle Busch in 2022. So it's weird that they were running in second and then. Both Gordon and Larson hit the wall very hard in turn four, but so you see, Gordon on the other hand, there was no safer barrier, so he hit a concrete wall. I'm telling you, and hit the grass in the infield. For Kyle Larson, it was the same thing: infield grass, you know, you know, in the front stretch. So. Mm. <sighs> what can I say? I mean, I know Kyle Larson's having a really tough year with four DNFs, or should I say five if you really count the exhibition races. And I mean, they just lost another next gen car, you know, and I bet the Hendrick Motorsports crew is really rushing to give him a good piece for the Coke 600 at Charlotte next Sunday. So, so there you have it. So, I'm a Capricorn FF. Y'all have a great day and peace out.